What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. I've been doing a little work on the farm. Uh, if you've missed some of the videos, we got a low boy trailer here. We've been hauling some tractors in. Got a couple things to go over with the farm. A couple future build projects, farming related, tractor related. A couple construction things I've, I've tried to piece together and uh, some future build project ideas. So it's not just farming stuff. There might be a Speed Champs thing in there and yeah, maybe a Deadpool Marvel build in there. So stay with me. Let's start uh, going through some stuff. So as you can see, I haven't really done much to the farm since the last update, if you've been following along. The big thing was getting all the goats that are all right there. We got a bunch of cattle. We got all our sheep. We do have a few llamas that are still just randomly placed. We've got our pigs, our sheep, or our chickens. Our new area here, newest area, with our horses. So all this can change. It's all modular if I need to change it out. Um, our silos here, I love having them two silos. I need to get the monorail running. I really haven't ran that in a while. Um, there's a sneak peek of some stuff going on on the main street back there and around. I don't know if you can zoom in or not on your computer or phone or whatever, tablet. We might do a tractor parade video in the future, so stay tuned for that. It, it's I might do a couple of them because I've got a couple ideas just to try to get some more content out there. And With all these tractors that are covering the shelves, I want to do something with them rather than just have them collect dust or use a few of them in my city and on my farm. So let's get back to it and let me show you a few things I've been working on. Somebody said, oh, you haven't been on camera in a while. Well, there you go. Okay, if you missed this, this is my last custom build tractor with our little sickle bar. Kind of the mid-sized tractor. I'm not really showing it off again if you want to see it. I mean, that's great. You can watch the video too. It's got some more details on it. The thing that I did was the Technic John Deere tractor that came out a couple years ago. The I know it's a 9 series tractor that has the trailer for like 30 bucks. It came with the sticker sheet. Well, I got to thinking, well, maybe I could just buy the sticker sheet. So I found like five of them for like 50 cents a piece. And you can see I've started hacking and cutting. But you get some of those John Deere stickers, the logo and different things. And yeah, I started kind of placing some stickers on there just to get a little bit of I guess badge placement I did that with the lawnmower and yeah I mangled that one because it's offset man trying to do that is actually harder than you think missing a tire I got a brick link order in to get a bunch of yellow those yellow tire or the yellow wheels I've got a bunch of tires but yeah that's my little lawnmower in case you're curious, this is what this piece is I'm using as the mower deck. Just fits under there perfect. And yeah, there's two other mowers here. They're all different. The one I use, the smooth front tires. Pretty close to the same design. Just a little bit different. Minute changes. Especially in the front. But yeah, I'm just trying to make a few more John Deere tractors lawnmowers this one yeah it's a lawnmower i really like it i like the way that front end turned out we've got our lights on the side so pretty happy with that design let me know what you think if you have any questions easy enough to build i'm sure if you guys just look at it close enough yeah you can figure out how to build this if you're interested that's up to you guys just give you some ideas so yeah that's what we've been doing with this until I guess Lego's got an exclusive deal with John Deere at this point. So we're not going to see any official Kubota or Masty Ferguson case LS. I guess that Kloss deal that they had probably expired years ago because it's been a few years. I think pre COVID since we last saw one of the Kloss tractors uh, officially branded. So that's what we've got there. Another project, yeah, I know this looks like crap right now. And it's a really rough draft, but I'm trying to work on one of those just historic pre, 
World War II era tractors with the no treads and no rubber on the tires design. That's what I'm going for. I'll play with it. This was just a kind of an update to show you some things I've been trying to mess with. This too. That was going to be a Gator with a dump bed, but yeah, it looks more like a golf cart. Even though I don't have the yellow wheels on it, um, I don't think it's going to work. Trying to use that specific piece is just not going to work. So we'll redo it. We'll rebuild the whole thing. We'll probably have to add those tires, those kind of balloon off-road tires, if we're going to make a Gator, because I don't think those are going to look that good on it. But we'll try it. So anyway, work in progress. I've got a good golf cart, I guess, that's uh, painted John Deere green. <laughs> okay, what else have we been working on? I don't know if I showed that before. That's that official set for 10 bucks. I think it's only the third, maybe only the third official Lego steamroller. And one of them was in a foil bag only in Europe. But anyway, that was part of my construction thing because I've been working on rebuilding this. This set came out in the middle 80s. This crane. I love this crane. The metal. Yeah, that's metal, not, not cheap plastic. And you can extend this out. So the one thing I had to get was the chair was the, the string to make this thing work. Full rotation. Put it down. Yeah, so that's one thing I've been working on, trying to piece together, and it is dirty. I need to clean it. Probably take it apart again and clean it. But you got your outriggers here. If you want to pop them out on both sides to set it. One of those construction sets that, uh, to me, this set was way before its time, both in like complexity and design. 19, I want to say 1985, because I think that's the year I started collecting most of the city sets as a kid, or my parents started getting them for me, and said, build a Lego city. I'm like, four. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, I need to get the guy, too. He's got the black overalls on. Actually, I think it's this guy right here driving the tractor. I just need to get his helmet, or his hard hat, which... Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> okay, what else do we got? Oh, I got a custom tree for you. We just use the leaf pieces. And yeah, you use those one by two rounds on the bottom just to make it a little bit thicker on the bottom. Yeah, it's like a nice bush with some leaves on the bottom. I use brown on one just to see what it, the difference would be. And I, I like the, all the green better myself just solid green so I need to change that piece out and then just a little topper I wish those came in the same color green yeah maybe one day did it the same with the little bush only these are just sitting on there and you just cap them with one of those easy little build but just trying to fill in gaps and foliage areas yeah why not what else do we got this tray Oh yes, but we'll first, we're gonna go to this. I found this at Target, five bucks, poly bag. Got it built, came with a few stickers. It's gonna go on the, my custom shelf display rack with the other four that have come out in the Speed Champs line, along with a couple of the other cars. This I think is the longest one by far now, so I may have to alter it. Love how it rolls. You see the stickers on it. We got some there, one on each side of that, and then one on the front. Nothing great about the instructions. Easy to build. I might buy another one just to put away because they're only five bucks. If I find them at Walmart, usually I try to buy an extra one because I've got an extra one of each of the other four. All right, next up, we got this. This is a hodgepodge mess. The ugly colors that make no sense are interior colors. And I'm missing probably about 60% of the dark red colors. What's this going to be? Well, I'll give you a hint. 
And the hint, well, it, that's kind of a hint, not the goofy chicken, guy in the back. Buildable minifigure. We're going to do a buildable minifigure of Deadpool. I found some instructions that have just recently been put on rebrickable.com. Just go there, type in Deadpool, and I, yeah, it's one of the most recent ones. Pretty cool design. The guy made it in red, which is kind of what this is, but I'm going to change it to the dark red color, which is kind of what Iron Man is there. You can kind of see the difference, and that's really what he is. So a lot of the Iron Men are all dark red. That's what I'm working on. I just started piecing the pieces, getting the pieces together. I got to spend about 70 bucks to get all the rest of the pieces I need to finish it. So probably within the next month, by the time I get the pieces ordered from BrickLink and the sellers get them there and then time to build it, three weeks or so to a month, and we'll have a pretty cool video of a Deadpool. We'll have it out before the movie comes out this summer for sure. But yeah, as you can see, lots of odds and ends. I know these are for the sword holders on his back. Just weird, random stuff. I'll throw a picture up just as a teaser, if I think about it. <laughs> I gotta go through the video and remember to do that. Then once that's done, I can put him with my custom brick head. I got these instructions off Rebrickable too, which I know we'll never have one made. So that's somebody made it and yeah, take my money. Just a couple dollars for the instructions and then get the pieces. Hardest thing is having all the pieces in dark red. So we'll put them together and pair them up. Probably do a comparison video of the, the two plus the minifig that I got. I'm a Deadpool fan. I think like most people probably are that are entertained by Marvel stuff. So anyway, that's the video. We got the tractors over there, the mess there, my tractor bin stuff. And yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you enjoyed the update. I'll have some more stuff soon, and stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.